and welcome back to Kelly's Kitchen. Welcome to another episode of my Tired Mama Meal series. So today's video, I've got lots of quick and easy dinner ideas. Um, these are all minimal effort meals. These are for when you're exhausted. You need something that you can just throw together in five minutes or less. Um, I say five minutes or less, that's a little bit of an exaggeration. Less than 30 minutes for sure. Um, but I really hope you guys enjoy today's video. I'm gonna try my best to make these videos longer because these meals are very quick and to the point. My videos tend to be a little on the shorter side, um, sharing four to five meals. So it may be to where I start putting more meal ideas in the videos, just to make the video a little bit longer. My washing machine's going, so that's what the noise is. Anyways, we are gonna go ahead and jump into the video. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the first meal that I have to share with you. So we're gonna be making some shrimp po' boys. Shrimp po' boys are basically shrimp sandwiches. Um, I like to have it on a hoagie roll. So to make this meal super quick and easy, I got pre-cooked shrimp. Um, I found these little shrimp poppers at Walmart. They're already battered and fried and cooked. They just have to be heated through. So I popped those in my air fryer with some fries. And I had some fries laid out, but then I found a couple of bags in my freezer that I really um, just needed to use. So I put those in the air fryer with my shrimp. And while those are heating up, I'm gonna work on some coleslaw. I should have done this earlier in the day so it could have sat, but I didn't think about it. Also, I needed a little bit of a bigger bowl so I'm transferring my coleslaw to a bigger bowl and in this smaller bowl I'm gonna make the sauce for it so it's mayonnaise sugar um, vinegar a little bit of salt and pepper but I will have this recipe linked below um, the recipe called for lemon but I didn't have any lemon I had a lime so that's what I used and we're gonna mix this really well and then we're gonna pour that over the coleslaw mix I opted just to get the coleslaw mix that was already done in the bag it's already cut up just as a little shortcut so we're just gonna pour that sauce mixture in with the coleslaw give it a mix and this is gonna go on our shrimp po' boy sandwiches So I was being a little extra here, but honestly, it's worth it. So I'm just putting some butter on my hoagie rolls. I'm gonna put on a little bit of garlic powder as well. And I'm just gonna toast these up. I highly recommend doing this. Although it is optional, it does take it to the next level and just makes it that much better. sandwich I'm just putting some mayonnaise my shrimp poppers and the coleslaw and that is it and we just served it with fries it was so good y'all these were so delicious and I'm definitely gonna be making them again this was my first time making shrimp po' boys at home I usually just buy them in the restaurant I love them they're one of my favorite things but now that I have a quick and easy way to make them at home I'm definitely gonna be doing it more So the next night we had taco salad. So this is always an easy go-to meal for us. My kids love tacos. So I've got two pounds of ground beef. I normally have to do two because one just doesn't cut it for us. My kids tear some tacos up. So I've got two pounds of ground beef. I've got some fresh cilantro salsa sour cream, shredded cheese. We really like these on the border chips. So the first thing I'm doing is browning up my ground beef. I'm gonna season it with some taco seasoning, pour in some water and just let it simmer just like you would for normal tacos. A little fun fact about me is I really don't care for tacos, but I do like taco salad and I know it's all the same. I guess it's the way that I'm eating it. So 
So I'm just going to put my chips down with a little bit of taco meat. Y'all, this took maybe five, ten minutes to get this meal together. However long it took for the ground beef, that's how long it took for this dinner. Super fast and easy dinner. I'm going to put on some shredded cheese, um, shredded lettuce, a little bit of the cilantro salsa, and some sour cream. And that is dinner. I like to take my fork and chop mine up, give it a good mix before I eat it. This is also really good with Doritos as well, the nacho cheese Doritos. You could also serve these up with some jalapenos, some olives, um, get creative with it. Whatever you like on your tacos, you could serve on this taco salad. So the next night we are doing one of my mama go-tos. It's the Nor rice sides mixed with your meat of choice and I love these because you can mix and match them you can do whatever meat you want whatever flavor because this is like a taco flavor of rice I'm using I'm also going to do some black beans and corn and just to be a little extra I'm going to throw in some queso cheese I've made this before I think I made it here on my cooking channel it was either here or my main channel but we absolutely love it so I'm just browning up my ground beef first once it's all browned through I I will put in the north sides. cooking that according to the package directions at this point. I'm following exactly what the packet says, how much water to use, the cook time and all of that. And I'll also go ahead and drain my corn and my black beans and put that in as well. I'll give it a good stir, just mix it up really well. I'm gonna place my lid on and turn it down to a simmer. And I think the cook time for these north sides was seven minutes. So I just placed my lid on and cooked it for seven minutes and dinner was ready. was done I went ahead and put in some of the white queso cheese we love this queso cheese from Sam's Club as close as you can get to the restaurant queso <laughs> that's the way I describe it it's just a really good quality queso dip so I'm just gonna put some of that in there give it a stir and dinner is ready Alright guys, this is one of my go-to easy meals and we all love it. So it's a one dish meal. You're just going to need some rope sausage. I like to use the smoked one. Um, you'll need some potatoes. This will depend on the size of your family. It's just me and my daughter tonight so I'm just going to use two rest of potatoes. Um, I'll probably use half of that onion and then I've got one poor little can of green beans in my pantry. Hopefully I can get this open. I might have to open it from that end, actually. That might work.
All right, so I've got everything in the pot. I just threw everything in as I was cutting it up, so I'm just gonna give it a quick stir. And you can season this with whatever you want. Sometimes I'll do just salt and pepper, um, a little bit of garlic powder, and sometimes I like to use Creole seasoning. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna use tonight, actually. Let me see. Just a little bit of Cajun. I won't use the Cajun though because my daughter is gonna be eating this and it might be too spicy for her, but um, this is a good seasoning to use for this. I think all I'm gonna do is some of this Kinder's. It's called The Blend. It's already got salt, pepper, and garlic powder all mixed together, so you really don't need anything else. So what I'm gonna do is pour maybe a half a cup of water in here for our potatoes, and I'm gonna turn it down to uh, turn it down to a medium heat and put the lid on just until the potatoes get soft. I'm gonna put the lid on, let the potatoes get soft, the onions get translucent, and once it's done. I'll throw in the green beans, and there you go. One dish meal. All right, so I almost burnt mine. Walked away a little bit too long, but you just wanna cook this until your potatoes are soft and your onions are translucent. So now I'm gonna dump in my green beans, let it heat for just a couple of minutes. I don't really have a name for this dish. I just call it sausage, potatoes, and onions. <laughs> sometimes I do the green beans, sometimes I don't. Um, but on mine, after I put it in my dish, I did sprinkle on a little bit of this Cajun seasoning because like I said, I do like it. Um, I just didn't want it to be too spicy for my daughter. And then I always like a little bit of sour cream on there as well. And that is dinner. All right, y'all, the last dinner, I found this recipe on Facebook or it found me, it popped up in my newsfeed and I thought it looked really good. So you just need some boneless skinless chicken breast. I have one that I'm gonna cut in half um, just to make it stretch a little further. And two, it was just me and my daughter on this night, so I didn't need a lot of chicken. So I'm gonna cut that in half and set that into a baking dish. Over in a separate bowl, I'm gonna put in a half a cup of mayonnaise, uh, it's a cup of cheddar cheese, three teaspoons of minced garlic, and a packet of the ranch mix. I didn't have any packets. I have my ranch in the big container, so I just eyeballed how much ranch I needed. But I'll try to find this recipe and link it or write it out for you guys below so that you can get the measurements. But once you have that all mixed up, you just put it on top of your chicken and you bake it in the oven. I think it baked on 400 for about 30 minutes or so. should have done this first but I decided to go with mine I wanted some baked potatoes and roasted broccoli so I'm just rinsing off some russet potatoes and I'm gonna get those onto a baking sheet I'm gonna drizzle on some olive oil with a little bit of salt and I'm gonna put some broccoli on one side I'm gonna roast this in the oven together I did have to take my broccoli out first because it was getting done before my potatoes were um, but this is the longest part of this meal was getting the potatoes baked so you could easily just pop these in the microwave if you wanted to uh, but I'm just gonna do mine in the oven they do take about an hour so just keep that in mind um, and this is where I realized that I forgot to poke holes in my potatoes so I'm gonna poke some holes in them really quick and then I'm gonna pop them in the oven and they're gonna bake for about an hour This chicken was so good, y'all. It, it smelled good, it tasted good. My daughter kept asking me when dinner was gonna be ready. Um, I was just showing you the broccoli that I took out before the potatoes. I had just set that to the side. So I'm just gonna assemble my plate here. So 
on my baked potato, I like to do butter, um, shredded cheese, bacon bits, and sour cream. here I was just showing y'all these pineapple mango drops I've really been liking these you can find them at Walmart so I'm just putting those into some water and that was dinner y'all right, that is gonna do it for today's video I really hope you guys enjoyed and hopefully you got some easy dinner inspiration like I said these are all minimal effort just something quick and easy on nights that you're exhausted and you don't feel like cooking but you still got to feed your family that's the whole reason I started this um, series is for tired mamas like me that need to get dinner on the table for your kids. It's really honestly what started my crock pot recipes back in the day because I hate cooking. I hate it with a passion. I don't like it but at the same time I still have to feed my kids. I'm the mama and everybody relies on me to get dinner on the table. So I started doing my crock pot recipes. Because with the crock pot, you're not really cooking, you're just throwing stuff in, you're hitting start, and you're forgetting about it for the day. So um, that's what started my crock pot recipes way back in the day. So anyways, and that's kind of the inspiration behind my Tired Mama Meal series as well. I'm gonna go ahead and end today's video. Don't forget to leave some kind of food related emoji down in the comments, and I'll see you in the next one.